the questions that we ask of uh, uh, those who are being baptized. Uh, we, uh, along with the scriptures, some of the scriptures uh, with John 15 and uh, the fruit of the Spirit and a bunch of other scriptures that we've gone over together over the last couple, three weeks. Um, some of these, uh, we've also gone over these questions and their meanings. And uh, so, uh, let me, i got to find my place because it's hard with the tablet here. All right. Do you now desire to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Answer loud, I do. I do. All right. <laughs> Proclaiming this covenant with Jesus Christ, do you renounce all the powers of evil and declare your opposition to a way of life in contradiction to the gospel? I do. I do. <laughs> Will you devote yourself to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. I will. I will. <laughs> Empowered by the Holy Spirit, will you do all in your power to participate fully in the life of this congregation, to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? I will. I will. All right. <laughs> People of God, Will you promise to uphold and support Grace and Katie and Meg in their life in Christ? If so, say, with God's help, we will. With God's help, we will. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask Pastor Eric to offer a word of prayer. All right, let's pray. Almighty God, our Redeemer, you have called us from death to new life through your Son, Jesus Christ. We are grateful for your mercy and love and the salvation you have given us through our Savior Jesus. As we have these three here today that will follow him in humble obedience by baptism with water. We thank you for this water baptism that, as in it, we are buried and united with Christ in his death and renewed to new life by the power of the Spirit. Lord, we ask that you would sanctify this water and that you would take these three young ladies now and sanctify them to live a new life that is forever fervently pursuing Christ our Lord guide all of us here as witnesses to bind ourselves to these three, to diligently pray for them and help them to know you more, that they may stand strong in their lives and honor you by their actions. We pray, we pray this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. One of the things that we've done uh, in the past has been to give you an opportunity to participate in this service and be mindful of your own baptism by water all water is uh the same right right in fact somebody was um uh, somebody suggested you know if it's raining on sunday then everybody will get baptized right you don't even need to go this so uh if, if uh, you're thankful it's not raining and you want to participate uh you can just come down to the water put your hand or put your foot into uh, the water and in uh, in a way in that way have a concrete uh, sort of uh, connection to what we're doing here and your own uh, your own baptism all water is connected i think um i don't have scientific data on okay so what we're going to do